Hello. Okay. So we will uh, have now uh, the last uh, uh, plenary session uh, with uh, uh, a, a keyword speaker. Uh, the uh, name of uh, this uh, uh, plenary conference is uh, Carbon Materials for uh, uh, Carbon Dioxide Abatement and Hydrogen, uh, hydrogen Fuel. And uh, the plenary will be presented by Professor Boyko Tsintarsk. I will present him. Uh, Professor uh, Dr. Boriko Cintarski is uh, a, a good friend of mine. We are working together uh, since uh, about uh, 12 years, I think. We had many projects, uh, European, uh, uh, bilateral, and now we have interacademic project. And uh, 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 Professor Boriko Cintarski is head of the laboratory for chemistry of solid fuels in the Institute of Organic Chemistry with Center of Phytochemistry of Bulgarian Academy of Science. Uh, the main uh, research area and sub areas are new nanostructure material, technology and chemistry of natural and synthetic fuels, carbon materials, absorption, catalysis, ecology, ear spectroscopy. Uh, he is regularly invited to uh, give plenary lecture. He has published a lot of scientific uh, articles with more than a uh, thousand citations. Uh, uh, Hirsch index is uh, 18. Uh, total, uh, 106 publication, 102 publication indexes uh, in Scopus, whereas uh, 89 publications have uh, impact factor and Q rank. Uh, from this, uh, 34 publications are with uh, Q1 rank, 24 Q2 uh, rank, 7 Q3 rank, and uh, 24 Q4, uh, uh, 24 uh, Q4 uh, uh, rank. Uh, he has a chapter uh, book. Index it in Scopus. Currently, he is coordinator of uh, three projects, two international. He participated in 15 projects, from which uh, three European project and other three international joint project. Uh, he uh, uh, make uh, specialization abroad. He uh, was in the Center for Polymer and Carbon Materials uh, from, of the Polish Academy of Science in Zabrze, Poland, Poland, for three months in 2014. He has uh, international cooperation with Polish Academy of Science and Romanian Academy of Science. Uh, scientific awards, uh, diploma for excellent presentation of the development of uh, uh, activated carbon from various precursor, in the third national exhibition, Invention Technology Innovation, ITI 2011 in Sofia, uh, in uh, 2011. His membership in Scientific Society, Union of Chemists in Bulgaria, and Bulgarian Catalytic Group. So, Boyko, please give us your presentation. Thank you. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, dear colleagues, uh, thank you for the privilege uh, to have the last closing lecture in uh, this uh, wonderful symposium. Uh, <coughs> my presentation is uh, dedicated to uh, very important problems of uh, uh, CO2 uh, removal and um, which is made by carbon materials and also application of uh, some carbon uh, materials for uh, hydrogen production and hydrogen storage. Uh, 
the world wide emissions are increasing uh, a lot in the last years due to uh, increase of uh, industrial production and other uh, activities and it's a very problematic cause it connected with uh, uh, climatic change as you know well uh, it's uh, all the time in the last years uh, Uh, now, a few uh, words about hydrogen. Uh, there's a uh, different kind of uh, hydrogen. Uh, in the last years, appeared new definitions like blue hydrogen, gray hydrogen. Uh, blue hydrogen is uh, mainly uh, used when uh, we produce a hydrogen from methane and then uh, the released CO2 is. Uh, captured and then uh, was uh, uh, regenerated. When uh, uh, CO2 is not captured, this uh, 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 we talk about not blue hydrogen, but gray hydrogen. <clears throat> uh, green hydrogen, uh, this term is used when uh, uh, we use uh, electrolysis of water to, to obtain uh, hydrogen and uh, use the power of uh, renewable energy sources. But uh, so-called pink hydrogen uh, is when you use energy from nuclear, uh, is the same but when you use uh, nuclear energy. Er, uh, yellow hydrogen when you use uh, only solar energy. Uh, this is a scheme which shows all the difference between these uh, of course, it's not so well defined. Sometimes it's blue hydrogen. It, it, it can uh, go in green. It depends on the process that is we use. Uh, and uh, hydrogen, um, maybe most of you know, is uh, regarded to the uh, fuel of the future. Uh, Unfortunately, it's, uh, because it's ecology friendly, and uh, in fact, uh, source uh, water is uh, a very enormous source, so we can use it for production of uh, hydrogen with different kind of uh, processes, uh, fuel cells, electrolysis, uh, uh, and a lot of other uh, variants. Um, but the problem is that uh, okay, we can produce a hydrogen, but uh, we can also uh, have to store it. Uh, 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 so storage of hydrogen is also problematic. Uh, and uh, for example, if you uh, have a, a transport uh, device, car or something like this, uh, if, it, you, if you uh, use hydrogen, you need very big reservoirs. So it's better not to be in the gas form, but in uh, for example, in uh, uh, solid form like hydrates or other liquid like uh, ammonia, they're using different different prototypes of hydromobiles. They use different kind of uh, hydrogen uh, uh, of hydrogen containing material. And one idea is, uh, for example, using magnesium carbides, uh, 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 no carbides, uh, uh, sorry, magnesium um, uh, hydrides. And, and other met metal, uh, metal containing uh, materials, but magnesium is very uh, uh, suitable because uh, uh, magnesium uh, it, uh, it has very high uh, capacity, uh, absorption capacity towards hydrogen. Of course, it has some, some drawbacks. Uh, uh, it uh, works better at higher temperatures uh, and so on, but it, uh, it is a good option. Uh, <clears throat> also, but hydrogen storage can be used uh, 
methanol and methanol at the same time can be used also for hydrogen production. For example, by uh, degradation, and it depends on the catalyst, uh, you can obtain different, different final products. For example, when you use uh, copper uh, or uh, uh, metals from a uh, group, uh, it's uh, preferentially the reaction goes to uh, hydrogen uh, CO. Of course, it depends on the okay, what kind of metal in, in uh, what is the coordination of metal on which support, but uh, it's and every every uh, this uh, this um, of course these factors uh, they influence the final process. And of course, it's uh, for example hydrogen at CO. We we want to make the reaction to go at, uh, to this uh, uh, in this direction, but there are a lot of uh, intermediates like uh, 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 different organic substances, uh, uh, methane and so on, which are not desirable, but uh, it, uh, we can change the catalyst and other factors to, to uh, control this, the, the final uh, content. Uh, in the final products of especially hydrogen. Uh, uh, so uh, we we want to to uh, solve these problems about CO2 to move it to, to decrease its uh, concentration and also uh, with hydrogen. And to what uh, kind of materials can we use? Okay, uh, we uh, in our group in the Institute of Organic Chemistry work for a lot of years with carbon materials. Previously, we uh, worked more with uh, coal, but now coal is not, uh, as you know, not very attractive as fuel. Okay, it can be used as uh, uh, material for organic synthesis and other things, but for fuel, it's not good uh, because it's not good for environment. So uh, we now uh, are focused on production of different carbon materials uh, and with different applications like adsorption. Uh, purification of water, air, uh, for catalysts, all of other, uh, and uh, of course, uh, the problem with CO2 is connected with carbon, but carbon is, in fact, the, the element of life because it's uh, in this carbon cycle, and uh, in fact, CO2 is not, uh, the problem is not CO2, but the balance of CO2, so if we have enough trees, for example, and algae, so we have, uh, they consume enough CO2 and they produce oxygen, and uh, but uh, everything will be okay. But now the balance is not so good because the industry increase, the the, the trees uh, are not so many. So this uh, uh, we should control this balance. This is important. Okay, what uh, can you produce for, <clears throat> from 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 uh, different carbon carbon rich materials like biomass, uh, okay, coal, some waste from coal, from polymers, uh, especially when they contain more than, for example, 50% carbon, because it's more effective to have from the, the, the source more carbon to produce effective carbon, carbon material. And uh, after uh, carbonization, of course, in the absence of, uh, of oxygen, because it's uh, uh, otherwise, it, it Will burn. Uh, that is the option. If uh, carbonization, different temperatures, for example, from 500 to 700, also hydroporolysis uh, or so called also activation with water vapor, it can be used also different uh, other activate uh, like CO2 uh, 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 and also chemical activation with, uh, for example, carbonates or uh, sodium hydroxide and a lot of methods can be used, but uh, but uh, generally there are uh, carbonization and activation or so called hydropyrolysis, and we obtain three main group of products: solid product, which is most of the cases most important for us, uh, liquid products and gas products. Uh, there should should be mentioned that this gas and uh, liquid products are very important. Uh, gas products can be used for 
uh, uh, if we collect them, it can be used as a fuel because it contains more than 20% uh, hydrogen, more than 20% uh, carbon dioxide and other, uh, so, uh, and also methane, methane. So it can be used as a fuel, but of course it can be purified and moved from water, but uh, also liquid products can also be used, especially for production of carbon materials with very low ash content, because the ash, in fact, it, uh, in, in, I mean, inorganic uh, impurities, they remain in the, in the, the solid, in the solid product. And then these products can be used for different, various different applications in medicine, water purification, in catalysis, and so on. Uh, activated carbon is very important material. It's not new material, but uh, uh, people continue to work on it and to find uh, uh, a lot of different methods, new methods for, for production from different various uh, precursors, which are not still now uh, sometimes more uh, not, not so expensive precursors, and so on. It has uh, very important advantages because uh, it has a big surface area, which is very good for absorption and purification and other processes, and also uh, catalyst. And also, it's very thermally stable, um, chemically stable. So, and it's easy regenerable, especially uh, when. Uh, you uh, purify, for example, water from organic substances. Uh, with metal ions, it's more com complex because metal ions, they connect very, very strong with the carbon surface and then it's not so easy to, to re regenerate. <clears throat> um, okay, uh, now some aspects on the synthesis. Uh, we have uh, use different methods, but the main uh, one of the main methods is, for example, uh, oxidation, oxidation procedure with uh, uh, mineral acids. Uh, if uh, there, it can be used other oxidant too. But for example, with oxygen, it, um, it oxidizes very fast and very so it's not uh, so uh, useful. It can be used other oxidant, but for now we found that this is. Uh, it, uh, this method of oxidation gives us a um, uh, good opportunity to obtain good uh, uh, precursor for the further activation. Uh, uh, here you see the main uh, one, one, uh, one of our, our equipment, which you use for, for example, for water vapor activation. Uh, in, in fact, uh, uh, in the literature, a lot of people use, for example, CO2 activation or other uh, activated uh, water. Uh, uh, with CO2, you, you obtain a very uh, more uniform pores, for example. Here, you, you obtain a big variety of pores, but uh, I think it's not so bad. So you, you, when you have big variety of pores, you can use in very different applications the obtained material, not only for, for one, uh, because when you have pore size very uniform, you can use for only for limited applications, but in this case, it's more uh, applicable. And uh, we use different methods. In the last uh, uh, two, three years, we, uh, 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 with the infrastructure projects from European Union, obtained new uh, equipment, also some equipment are old also, but uh, for example, Raman uh, spectrometer is new. Uh, also, you see here a uh, uh, new uh, thermogravimeter, uh, new porosimeter for uh, uh, nitrogen absorption, uh, also for meta analysis, which is uh, it's only for uh, uh, carbon, uh, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, and oxygen, but it's enough for especially samples which contain a lot of carbon and, and also, also natural samples, but most of them are for solid samples. For liquid, it's not very... Mm, uh, we can, uh, we have to buy in diff, uh, uh, some uh, additional equipment uh, because it's, in fact, it's using, it, it burns the samples 
and um, with uh, uh, liquids, uh, sometimes they evaporate before burning. It, so it's uh, uh, and it is very important to uh, to uh, um, determine the mass very correctly because it can work with, for example, one milligram of sample, which is very useful. And it's analysis one analysis performed in that ten minutes. It, and it, it can perform sixty samples one after another, but uh, but uh, especially solid samples, and uh, 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 they shouldn't have more uh, a lot of uh, mineral content because uh, when the sample burns, it goes in a thin. Uh, it's it's a uh, uh, in fact it's a. Uh, Covered with tin and it goes in a ash filter. And if there's a lot of inorganic substances, it uh, this ash filter have to be uh, changed very, very, uh, very fast. And also, it uh, can uh, can uh, destroy this. Uh, there is a uh, quartz cone which uh, uh, where is put this uh, ash filter. Uh, other equipment you see here. Uh, uh, scanning electron microscopy, uh, uh, Rengen, uh, uh, Higgs FD diffraction. Uh, this is uh, the data about the Raman apparatus. Uh, and uh, we have uh, some, some results and publications about hydrogen, uh, uh, application of these carbon materials for hydrogen. Uh, Assortion desorption properties, uh, mm, also for uh, hydrogen production and hydrogen storage. Uh, storage, especially uh, with uh, magnesium, uh, 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 carbon disadditive to, to magnesium alloys, uh, and uh, production and also storage with methanol and methanol uh, uh, decomposition. Uh, we use this reaction because we have such, such uh, equipment. Uh, it can be used other reactions too, but uh, for now, <laughs> maybe in the future. And there are some, you see some results from, uh, 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 this is a composite uh, containing nickel, uh, copper, uh, and uh, uh, which is the active phase for this um, metal decomposition and uh, carbon is used as support, but, uh, but this active phase is of uh, fast is maybe net, not more than 10%. Um, and it uh, uh, shows very good selectivity and catalytic uh, uh, activity. Uh, and also, you see there are some uh, nanoparticles in this composite, and maybe we, we need more uh, profound um, investigation uh, because we are not sure. Maybe we have some. Uh, now structures like uh, uh, carbon nodules, but we're not sure. We need more, uh, and, and they're not very stable. They they decompose after uh, three, uh, uh, after ten seconds because from uh, from uh, electron microscope the, the, the electronic beam is very energetic and, uh, and it appears that this uh, some some uh, some nanoparticles are not very very uh, stable. And in small in small content, and here's some result from uh, nitrogen absorption, and uh, uh, it has you see a very high surface area, and uh, this uh, is uh, uh, good in, in implication that it will be a good catalyst, and, and yet it is so. Uh, uh, here you see some desorption absorption characteristics of. Uh, this magnesium alloys and also some some nanoparticles, but it also needs more uh, more profound uh, uh, investigation because it, they're in very small in very small amount and very unstable. Uh, but we hope maybe in the future we can uh, obtain them more more in more stable uh, form. Uh, something about C, uh, CO2 absorption. Uh, it's also, we have some publications uh, uh, for this. Uh, the, uh, 
there are different uh, activate kernels from different, uh, uh, for example, apricot stones, peach stones, olive stones from different uh, uh, biomass materials, and they uh, showed very good assortion uh, against uh, CO2. Uh, and also, uh, there's, uh, these graphics are at, at different temperatures. And also, uh, my experiments show that there's uh, uh, moderately good re regeneration uh, about 60% in one of the samples. And uh, I think we can continue this. This is the preliminary result, but maybe we can, we can improve them. Uh, this, uh, thank you for the project, uh, uh, Romanian-Bulgarian Academy joint project in OMAC, and also uh, uh, two projects with Bulgarian Academy uh, uh, with Bulgarian Science Fund. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you. Uh, if there are questions about this presentation, I, I would like to make some comments mm -hmm. uh, because uh, uh, today it's uh, a very big problem. Uh, with the CO2 concentration increase mm -hmm. on the one side and uh, on the other side uh, with the problem with uh, replacing uh, uh, fossil fuels with uh, hydrogen. Mm -hmm. So I uh, loved you in your presentation uh, that you showed uh, the carbon cycle in, in the nature. Mm -hmm. And I think that this could be uh, sent to every member of the European Council to, to understand that it's not danger. Because if we have enough forest or alga, we can solve this problem. Yes, easy. yes. I have the same <laughs> opinion. Yes, yes. yes. This is the first. Uh, so uh, they, uh, it's no use to uh, 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 get down the uh, temperature inside. No, this must be done because we don't have enough well on one side and on the other side, because we, we need uh, to keep this uh, very valuable uh, source for chemistry. Yes, yes. Not to burn. For this, I understand, but tell me that uh, uh, CO2 increase it, uh, this is not scientific in my point of view. The second is that you said also that uh, hydrogen uh, is very difficult to storage. So uh, they are thinking now that we will have in our car tanks with uh, hydrogen. Mm -hmm. This is will be very uh, very big, yes. very big and very heavy mm -hmm. on the one side, and uh, then a big, big danger mm -hmm. because in a crash, uh, 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 a car crash, yes, yes, they will crash, explosion, you, yes, you yes. don't know what yes. Could, could, yes. Could, could be. So this uh, scientist must be thinking. Yes, yes, about you're right. This, yes, this problem. So, to pro, uh, your solution to uh, retain inside uh, carbon this hydrogen mm -hmm. uh, or better methanol as yes. a source of hydrogen. Yes, yes. This is the solution. Yes, yes uh, you're right. Yes, I agree. Uh, uh, by the way, I uh, I think I read that uh, uh, maybe they use methanol, but uh, for uh, for ammonia. They, uh, I think in Peugeot, or, uh, on the French company, we have read that they, you, they have some prototypes, they use uh, ammonia for, uh, it, it, uh, from, from it, it obtain hydrogen and it yes, goes, yes. Uh, and maybe, maybe metal, yes, they use different uh, yes, sources, yes. Yes, yeah, in other sources, not uh, liquid uh, hydrogen. Yes, yes. In my opinion, this is not uh, a technical uh, solution. So, is there any other questions? If not, I, I want to thank uh, Professor Boyko Tsintarski for the very nice conference. Uh, and uh, uh, our symposium uh, goes to the last moment. <laughs> thank you.